Very interesting front line for Cleveland. Big bodies. Some of them make threes just like that guy right there who happens to lead the NBA. This first quarter. Chart how many times they get a bucket after the ball goes into the paint. You see Bernard missed the righty floater right there, and that was an example for the Cavaliers. This is Garland, blocked by man, recovered by man. Clippers recycle their offense. Oh, tough pass by man, tougher catch by Boston. Oh. Watch Terrence Mann heads up right into the middle of the pack, and Boston finds it. Cavs, one of the surprise stories. I think the biggest surprise story has to be the Memphis Grizzlies. It's a fun team to watch, and when healthy, the Cavaliers could be a problem in the postseason. Hartenstein with that floater. And back and forth we go. We are tied at 64. Well, we talked about that right at the end of that first half. Man going full speed, downhill, finishing with that left hand. Fast break points in the first half for the Clippers, and here's Terrence Mann going solo, finishing with that left hand. Elevates up over the top of Zoo, finishes with that jump hook. The team had a seam. Zoo did not, but create something. Terrence Mann doing work. A seductive ball fake and lays it in. Terrence Mann with six. Watch Terrence stick his nose in there, come up with the rebound. Now a decision. Am I going to kick it out? Nope. No hesitation. Ojale finds Kennard straddling the three-point line. Nine to shoot for the Clippers. Kennard walled off by a pair of defenders. Somehow finds Terrence. Man, oh, and he's bending rims in Cleveland. Man, now with eight in the Clippers. Underneath the back, what he needs a teammate to help him. Well, that's Terrence Mann cutting to the basket for the catch and finish. Beautiful pass that time by Kennard. The same thing happened at the other end, except it was. But the Cavaliers have it and a chance to go two for one here. Levert, very aware, dashes down the lane. Ho oh, ho, better luck next time since Terrence Mann. Man late in the clock, shouted by Mobley, up, under, fades. It was contested by Mobley very well, but not good enough. Terrence Mann and the Clippers. Oh, Terrence Mann, that clock running down. He knows he's got a big man that's a shot blocker. He at fades, gets it up a little bit higher, which is the right way for it to go in. Bernard plays catch with Zoo, dumps it back in to Zoo, who kicks it back outside to Mann for the tie. He put it in, 3-10 to play. Here's to eventually get an open shot. Oh, look opposite. No, go back to the top of the circle where Terrence Mann knocks it down. Batum up top. They get it off. Got it! Terrence Mann ties the game. Day with the Cavaliers. See Luke Kennard directing traffic. Where's the ball going to go? To the deep corner. And again, understanding where Terrence Mann is. Um, I mean, I hang my hat on toughness and, you know, being a great teammate and uh, just being available for my teammates is what I really wanted to do this year. And I feel like I've done a great job of it. Uh, you know, night in, night out, whatever they need from me, whatever, you know, is asked of me, I'm going to try and go out there and do it and try my best. So, um, so far through 70 something games or however much has been played, I feel like I did a great job of that. Um, and yeah, man, I'm just going to keep going. I mean, I like it. I like it like that just because we're able to switch, um, you know, in transition, you're able to pick up whoever just, you know, there's not really a lot of guys that you have to be matched up on at that point. So um, it's a good look for us when we when we when we are able to do that. Um, it feels great <laughs> um, just to be able to finish out the year, knowing that we're going to have a couple of days to, you know, prepare ourselves for the playoffs. Amazing.